Okay, we're starting activity seven here, and I've got the the uh, the the textbook open on my other screen. And the very first thing it tells us to do is go ahead and open activity three. Okay, so that'll be the very first thing we're going to do. And then we're going to copy this. So I'm just going to come over here, press and hold the left mouse button down, drag to there. And I'm going to copy by pressing Control C. As you saw in the last video, there are other ways of copying. I could have right clicked on it and selected copy. I could have come up here to edit and selected copy. They all work. They all do the same thing. Okay, now I'm done over here in Activity 3. I'm going to come over here to our new document. Get that out of the way. I'm going to go ahead and paste that, control V, and get rid of activity three completely. Okay, I do want to adjust the width a little bit because you can see that senior citizen is not quite there. I'm going to double click right here between the B and the C to fix the width there, there, and there. Good. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and rename this sheet one. We're going to name it April. Good. Okay. Now, we're going to, oh, this is in the way. Okay, I'll figure this out. Because we're going to be using a little symbol that's behind this. And so I'm going to just move this over to here, I think, so that it's out of my way. Because we're going to be using this little plus sign right here. Okay. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And this sheet two, we're going to name admission price. Admission price, okay? And we're going to key in the data that we see in, in figure 7-1. So I'm starting on page 36 in the textbook, and now I'm scrolling to page 37, which is going to have the data. So to save myself a little bit of typing, remember you start inside that first cell. You notice my cursor is directly over the word, the letter A. The entire cursor is in that cell. Press and hold, drag over, control C. Come back over here, admission price, make sure I'm in alpha one, control V. I still need to, it looks like, get rid of that first row. So I just clicked on the A on the number one right there, and I'm going to delete that first row. There we go. Okay, admission price, 15.95. Okay, I had a student who was not clear on what I meant when I said point. It's the little dot, okay? Um, it's the, it's the same char character that you use when you use a period in a sentence, 21.95. And I'm hitting the enter key to go down, 27.95, enter key, and 15.95. Okay, for formatting, I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to just fix the width so that it's there. The main thing with formatting I want you to make sure of is you select these here. Remember, I selected them by pressing and holding the left mouse button down, dragging down, and I want you to format them as currency, okay? Good. And somehow the format on this one looks different than the others. You see that difference. So I'm not sure what went wrong here. So I'm going to click on the one that I like. I'm going to click on the Format Painter. And then I'm going to click on the one I don't like. And that's just going to fix the format. Format Painter, we've talked about this in class. It looks at the format when it is clicked. So it would be looking at this format here. Then after I click on that, it's going to paste that format somewhere else. Okay. So at this point, we're done with this page for just a minute. Okay. Admission price, April. Okay. The next thing they want us to do is come over to here to April, okay? And I want you to click here on cell B6, okay? Now you're going to press the equal sign. Now, don't click anywhere I don't tell you to. Come down here and click on the new tab you created, admission price. And come up here and click on cell B2. If this box is in the way, you may need to use the scroll wheel to move it around, but now I'm going to click on cell B2. You notice that the formula now says equals admission price, the name of this one, and that's in single single quote, bang. The exclamation point when we're doing this we were, is, is just said bang. That's what we mean. We're not going to say exclamation point each time. We'll just say bang, B2. And that looks right. I'm going to hit enter. Okay, now this one here 
is now coded to this sheet right here. You see that. I want to do that to the rest of these. So I'm going to come over here to the autofill button, little square box in the bottom left-hand corner. It turns into a cross. I'm going to press and hold the left mouse button down. I'm going to drag down to the center of cell B9 and release. Okay. You may have seen these numbers jump at the same time because, of course, everything's being updated at the same time. So let me just go back here one time. So you see how these all reflect those old, the previous numbers. Now, once we do that, make the change, all of those adjust, which is I saw a student today typing these numbers in. Do not type these numbers in because, as you see, they're going to bounce around. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, autofill, notice April, insert three new worksheets. Okay, so we're in the April worksheet. I'm going to add one, two, three. Okay, sheet one, May, or sheet two, May, sheet four, June, sheet five, first quarter, one, ST. In business, we tend to work in inner, we tend to work in quarters instead of months or years. A month is really too short to get a good understanding of what's going on. And a year is simply too long to wait to react to, to the data if it's happening during the year. And so we tend to work in quarters in the business world. Okay, I'm now going to come over here to April. I'm just going to copy all of this again. Control C, May. Control-V. We're just going to do these first, and then we'll get back to it, okay? Then we'll make the changes. Control-V. Control-V. Okay, now let's go back to May, fix a couple of formatting issues here. So I'm in May. I'm going to go ahead and drag that over till I can see all of the words in your citizen. I'll double-click between the B and the C, the C and the D, and the D and the E. And... This is May, so I'm going to click here, and I'm just going to come right up here in the formula bar and change that to, say, May. Good. Do that to the next one. Again, I'm just going to come here between the A and the B, move over enough to see the word citizen. Double click, double click, double click. Come on, went too far. Double click. Good. Okay. And here, I'm going to type in, up here in the formula bar, June. Okay, enter. First quarter, you can do the same thing again. There will be a difference on this one. For the, come on. First quarter of. 2022. Okay, that makes sense so far, right? Good. Now we are going to go and put in some slightly different numbers. So I clicked on May down here again, just to let you know where I'm at. I'm going to scroll down here, and I'm now going back to page number 37. And let's see here for May. And so I'm going to make some changes here. 415, 415, enter, 256, 335, and 237, 237. Going to do the same thing here in June. Going to make some changes here. And again, I'm on page number 37 if you're trying to figure out where I'm at as I'm doing this. 369, 309. And I remember I'm using the enter key to go down. 473 and 290. Good. Okay. So we've got those numbers updated, but obviously these are not the right numbers for the first quarter, okay? So again, we're going to go ahead and do something here. Now, again, this is another one of those where you need to see what I'm doing and not do anything radically different. I'm in the first quarter worksheet. I'm going to click here where it says tickets sold. I'm going to put in a new formula, equals. Now, I'm going to click on April. I can't see what I need to be on. I need to be there on C6. So I'm just going to go ahead and I turn the red scroll wheel. If you don't have the scroll wheel, if you're at home, I can come over here and I can very carefully slide this. Okay. And I'm going to click on C6. Plus. 
May. And again, I want C6 plus June. And I want C6. Enter. Okay, now you saw that this is jump. Now again, we're going to autofill so you can see here what we're doing. We're looking at April, cell C6, May, cell C6, June, cell C6. Good. So I'm going to come over here to the autofill button. I'm going to press and hold the left mouse button down. I'm going to very carefully pull down to here. And there we go. And those are our numbers for this quarter. And amazingly enough, that was pretty much it. Now, if you want to see these formulas, if you hold, if you look at your keyboard, directly above the tab key, you see it key with a little squiggle on it, and that's called the tilde. If you hold the control key and press that key, it's going to show your entire formula there. So you can actually look at your formula and see if it looks right. So what you see here in these formulas is here, we're looking at the admission prices on this worksheet right here. Okay. And then we're adding up the, the B6 from these three. Then we're multiplying these two cells together. Okay. And we're doing that for each of these. Because remember, when we fill down, it automatically increments. To increment means to increase by one. And then we added all of these cells up. Okay. So again, if I want to turn that off, I hold the control key, press that same key again. And I'm just going to double click here to bring that back to a normal size. Okay. Beyond that, you are now done with activity seven video. You're going to do the same thing in the assessment. The only thing about the assessment, remember, the first thing you're going to do is open activity three. Now, a difference here. You're then going to, sorry, activity seven assessment. If I said six a moment ago, I meant seven. You're going to open activity three and then you're in Excel. And then you're going to immediately click on save as and say, and save it as the assessment seven in Excel. Assessment three, assessment seven. Now you're not, that doesn't get rid of your assessment three. The assessment three is still there unchanged but you now have a new file called assessment seven. And then you're just going to follow these directions or the, or the directions in the worksheet to do that one. So this one was pretty easy. And so see you in class.